Hello, you are watching KC News with Anna Profit. Briefly about the main at the beginning of the release. Crypto governments, United Arab Emirates, Australia and Isle of Man to use blockchain. Startups in digital world, Stratis Blockchain as a Service Platform and Passobit, Filipino cryptocurrency. Global Education, Hockey Residency in the New York City and Helsinki Blockchain Conference 2016. More information about these and other news in a few seconds. Over 2,700 bitcoins forfeited during several cases is planned to auction by the US government, according to the BitcoinAgile.com. Several of bitcoins were steamed from investigations of the online black market known as Silk Road. The US Marshal Service said that the online auction would be held on the 22nd of August and that potential bidders must register by the 18th of August. The bitcoins are worth about $1.6 million, according to the Bitstamp Exchange. Governments in crypto, United Arab Emirates, Australia and Isle of Man seek the ways to use the blockchain technology. Australian Postal Service has already begun exploring three potential areas in which blockchain can be developed – identify registries and e-voting. According to the DNet.com report, Rick Wingfield, Australia Post Accelerator partner, said at the annual Technology in Government conference, We think the technology has a really good use to create a lot more control for the citizen, putting citizens in control of their data, which can only be unlocked with the two keys. According to the report, the government believes the technology has the potential to revolutionize key services, like international transfers between banks, equities clearing and settlement, and financial contracts. The Dubai Future Foundation officially opened the Dubai Future Accelerators Initiative. According to Coindesk.com, a 12-week startup program based in the United Arab Emirates will seek to encourage innovation in strategically important sectors, breakthroughs in urbanism, housing construction, renewable energy, healthcare, education, transportation, public safety and other areas. According to Zavia.com, projects and companies taking part in Dubai Future Accelerators, led by His Highness Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, Crown Prince of Dubai, will be invested by 1 billion dirhams, nearly 275 million US dollars over five years. Isle of Man government and blockchain startup credits are working on blockchain proof of concept. According to Coindesk.com, credit so founder Nick Williamson told the news source that the idea behind the project is to assign unique identities to physical items, thereby creating a way of affirming their authenticity. Are you looking for lucrative investment opportunities? Try cryptocurrency cloud mining service Hashflare. You will get high returns on your investment and will be able to withdraw your money at any time. You can start investing from as little as $3 and it has never been easier to generate returns with Hashflare. Sign up today at hashflare.io Stratis, the new blockchain as a service platform, has been launched on the 9th of August. According to the newsbtc.com, the project gathered 915 Bitcoin in exchange for 84 million Strat tokens, making each token worth 1,089 Satoshi or $1 cent. CEO of the Stratus project, Chris True, said in the Hangout with interested people that Strat currency is going to have X13 hash algorithm and mining will be GPU-friendly. He provided project is open for the new ideas. The community is paramount in a project like this. So if one of the community members comes up with a, a great idea, then we will look into it, we will research it, and we'll spend our time to analyze if it's actually feasible. And if it is, we will implement it. We continue as a startup's team. New cryptocurrency designed to provide services to the Filipino people is going to launch on the 15th of August. Named Pesabit, it will provide a fast, cheap, and secured way of transferring money. We have Pesabit representative on the line. Hello, Debbie. Tell me, please, what is the difference between Pesabit and other cryptocurrencies? Hello, Anna. Good day. So, Pesabit is much like any other cryptocurrencies out there. You can trade it, mine, or seek it, or transfer it to others. 
What sets Pesuvi apart is that the development team will create platforms that will bring lots of services for the Filipino people via remittances, freelancing, e-commerce, marketplace, and many more. Peso Beat having Philippine centered services doesn't mean that the international community cannot take part in the Peso Beat ICO. Peso Beat will have a stronger demand as compared to other altcoins due to the services that will be released along with it. And it will be paired up with a low inflation of 5% per year. We can have a good trading volume with a possible upward trend in price, which is good for all traders. Plus, there will be also a platform where users can send and convert their peso B to Philippine peso, which allows users to deposit their funds to their own bank or accounts with so much ease. What plans do you have for further development? We will be having a one-month ICO that will begin next week until mid-September in which we will provide the desktop wallets. After that, we will also be releasing mobile and web wallet, only staking platform, remittance and freelance websites, e-commerce, shopping cart plugins, online APIs, and many more. Thanks, Debbie. We continue. Jugs, the multi-token and multi-platform blockchain wallet is going to include the support for Dash. The first iOS wallet for Dash by Jax will be released soon. Jax is a platform where you don't have to put in much information to get into your wallet, just code stored on your computer. Released on nine platforms but have same interface and code base. As CEO of Jax Anthony Diorio said in the interview for Dash Detailed, Dash was the fourth token added to the wallet because of its activity and community asks. We basically put it out there many times as, what do you want to see inside of Jax? What's the next token we should add? And, and Dash was the most vocal and, and it was by far for us the very easy decision to start working with that community. We want to be that agnostic blockchain wallet that allows people to make the choices which which currencies and which tokens they want to be dealing with. That's that's our goal. So when we reached out, it was just a very, a very uh, loud response of, hey, we'd love to see Dash inside of Jax. And that's what we started to put our efforts towards. Not only wallets, but cloud mining platform sees a Dash development. The cloud mining hashflare.io is going to release the Dash mining. The pre-order of X11 one-year contract will be published on the 15th of August, and mining start is scheduled on the 15th of September. Hashflare team says mining rewards will be paid the next day after start. Rise or fall, up or down? Bitcoin volume statistics on the material by coin.dance of next. Bitcoin volume statistics show us the popularity of cryptocurrencies in general, too. As we see from charts, last week the Bitcoin sale got down on such countries as China, Croatia, Norway, Romania, Turkey, United Arab Emirates, USA. Besides activities of such countries as Australia, Canada, Brazil, Colombia, New Zealand, Sweden, Russia, Singapore, Thailand grew up. The global trend of volume is almost 16 million US dollars in a week. In the future, 70% of the world's population will live in cities. Cities built for modern life. New speeds. New forms of communication. Energy efficient. Environmentally friendly. Self sufficient. New ideas with new cryptocurrency. Eating our coin cryptocurrency. Confidence in the future and happiness now. Chaincode Labs Incorporated, a New York-based research and development group 
has announced a hockey residency program in New York City that would benefit developers to learn the basics of Bitcoin protocol. Chaincode Labs Incorporated is founded by Alex Morkos and Suhas Devtua, active angel investors in Bitcoin space. Veteran Bitcoin developer and Blockstream co-founder Matt Corella will be joining to run the program. The program will start from the second week of September and invites coders and developers who want to immerse themselves full-time in Bitcoin. On the 26th of August, the presentation of the blockchain to Finland will be held. The first blockchain conference is one-day event taking place in Helsinki on August 26, 2016, and arranged by Coin Telegraph for the first time in the Nordics. According to the Cointelegraph.com, its main aim is to educate a larger audience about blockchain technology, its overall advantages and investment potential. Some of the most notable speakers at the event will be from such companies as Cointelegraph, Augur.net, Bitnation, LocalBitcoins.com, Descent, Fonderbeam. That's all the news for today. Subscribe to our channel and put the likes for news. Editorial office contacts are in the description below this video. See you in a week.